Hello my YouTube workout buddies and welcome to this week's workout. So today again we're doing a express strength workout and today we are focusing on chest, biceps and triceps. So the way this workout is going to work is we've got a four minute warm up and then we're going to do a circuit of four, I think five, no five exercises. We're going to do three sets of all of those exercises followed by a four minute uh, Tabata style finisher. So for this workout, you'll need just a couple things. You'll need a stability ball uh, or a bench or a hard surface. We're going to be doing some uh, dumbbell flies. Uh, for the chest and also some dumbbell uh, presses. So I'm going to be using a stability ball, but if you don't have one, you can use like a bench or um, something like, I mean, if I didn't have a ball, I'd probably use this. So just something to elevate your core. So um, what else? You're also going to need some dumbbells. And for the warm up, I'm going to be using this resistance band for some shoulder circumduction. However, if you don't have a resistance band, um, that's okay. You can just do shoulder circle circles <laughs> without the resistance band. But if you have one like this, go ahead and grab it. Okay, so I think that's everything you need to know. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get warmed up. We've got a four minute warm up. Just gonna press start on the timer. And we are going to start with jumping jacks. <sighs> I actually just filmed the uh, leg workout for this like express strength series right before this. So I'm already warm, but whatever, you know, get the heart rate up a little bit. I got all sweaty and then it's so cold in my apartment. So like when I stop moving, I immediately just get so cold. So this is good. Warm me back up again. So cold and gray outside. Ah, January, 17 seconds left. Five seconds. Good. All right, grab that resistance band if you're using one. If you're not using one, do this move without the resistance band. So you're gonna pull it apart slightly and now just bring it behind you and forward. On the side, it looks like this. Make sure you keep your cage down. A lot of people when they go overhead, they kind of like flare, they stick their butt up, flare the chest forward. Don't do that. Warming up those shoulders. Almost there, eight seconds left. Good. Now we're gonna just do some easy, easy push-ups. So get on your knees, choose a very easy variation for you. If that's even just like a box push-up, go for it. I'm gonna go for a knee push-up. So here we go. We're just gonna warm up the chest Nice and easy. Focus on keeping that core engaged, spine neutral. Not looking to tire ourselves out here. We're just looking to warm up the chest a little bit. Almost there. Good. Okay, last exercise. We're gonna warm up the core a little bit more with some bird dogs. My favorite core activation. All right. All fours, you're gonna lift one arm and the opposite leg and keep switching sides. I keep hitting stuff in here. Make sure that your torso isn't rotating during this exercise. 
go slow and controlled. If you're, if you're doing it and you're just flailing those arms and legs around, it can be easy, right? It's like, okay, yeah, woo. But you're definitely not getting the most out of this exercise if you do that. So do it with control, concentrate on what you're doing. Awesome, all right. So we've completed our warm up. Now let's get into the strength circuit. Okay guys, exercise number one is gonna be a single arm assisted push up. So a couple different ways you can do this. You can do this from your knees or your toes and you're gonna have one hand elevated on something and you're gonna put as much weight as possible into the arm that we're really focusing on. So. I'm actually going to do this on my knees so that I can really, like I tried doing this on my toes, but I feel like I can really focus on my chest and this arm more when I'm on my knees. So how I'm going to do this is, uh oh, you can still see me. Yeah. So I'm going to have one hand on my kettlebell and I'm just going to basically put all of my weight into this arm. I'm just placing this arm here and I'm just going to do a push up like that. So I'm basically doing this push up with just this arm. This is just for like stability or support. Um, you could also use like a stack of books or you could use the stability ball. You know, you just need to elevate your hand and then put all of your weight into the other hand. So. That is what we're going to do. We're going to go for five reps. So go ahead and pause the video and find whatever you, you need and then come back and let's get started. We're going for five reps per arm. So here we go. So all the weight, as much as you can, into that one arm. One. Two, three, four, five, switch arms, one, two, Three, four, five. Oh, alrighty. Next up, we're going for stability ball chest presses. So I'm going to use my stability ball. You're going to use a bench if you don't have a stability ball. So. You're going to place your shoulders and neck on the ball, push up through your hips, engage your glutes, pick up those dumbbells, and we're going for, we're doing 10 reps of everything apparently. That's what I wrote down, so that's what we're doing. So start with them up, and here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're gonna move on to stability ball pec fly. Okay, for this exercise, you basically wanna angle your torso at 45 degrees to the ground. And this ball is not ideal. I wish I had a bigger ball. But you know, we do what we can. Uh, you can also, if you don't have a ball, you can lean against your sofa or something. Just make sure your torso is at around uh, 45 degrees so you're not sitting up straight, but you're not flat, you're halfway. Okay, so. You're gonna bring the weights out in front of you, just like this. And now, maybe I should face the front. So 
So bring the weights up in front of you. And you're basically you're gonna keep your arms bent, open those arms up, and bring them back to the center. Okay, the next exercise is gonna be a stability ball, peck fly, and this ball is actually too small for this exercise as well, but you know, I'm just gonna make do. But you basically wanna lean against the ball so that you're at a 45 degree angle from the floor. So you're not sitting up straight, but you're not leaning back all the way flat. And then, uh, so if you don't have the ball, what you should do is maybe just lean against something at a 45 degree angle. And what you want to do is lift those weights up in front of you. And you're just going to, keeping your arms bent, you're going to open your arms and then bring them in front of you like you're giving someone a hug, like you're hugging a tree. So your arms stay bent and they're moving on this one plane of motion. So open and close. All right, 10 reps, here we go. Bring them up in front of you. Open up, keep the arms bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Whew. I find that exercise quite challenging. I really can't use very heavy weight at all with it. Okay, next up we have overhead tricep extension. So you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. I'm going to be using my kettlebell. And what you want to do is hold the weight above your head, squeeze your glutes, brace your core. Bring that weight down and then extend. So that's one rep. Like I said, we're doing 10 of everything. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. Last exercise, bicep 21. So you can grab those dumbbells again and just follow along. We're going to do seven bottom halves. So here we go. One. So just halfway up and all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now all the way up, or no, sorry, top halves. So halfway up, all the way up, then halfway down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now all the way down, all the way up for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Okay, and just a note, I decided that I'm just gonna use the same weights for all the exercises, but uh, you shouldn't do that because for me it's just taking, I don't, it's too annoying for me to switch dumbbells and then edit the video. I just, I just don't want to. But uh, ideally you should be using the heaviest weight for the, the double arm chest presses. Then uh, you'll notice that the chest flies, you'll have to use a lighter weight. And then I'd say the bicep curls, you should be using a weight that's in between the chest press and the flies. But just for the purpose of being getting through this video, I'm just gonna use the same weight for everything. Okay, now we're gonna start at the beginning again with our single arm assisted push-ups. I think I'm gonna try using the stability ball this time because it's a little bit awkward with the kettlebell. So again, 
want you to put all of your weight as much as you can into that arm that you're working and this should be weightless you're not using this to push so we're only going for five reps so just really give it your all here we go five reps one two three four five you know, you know you're doing it right if you can barely do it like literally it should be hard as fuck okay and that okay I'm just gonna finish this set and then see what I want to say okay here we go five reps one two Three, four, five. So the beauty of doing a really heavy, hard exercise like we just did is that the fact that we're sort of supersetting it with the chest press means we don't have to use as heavy as weight um, because we are a little bit limited with what we can do at home, right? We Most of us don't have super heavy weights. If I was doing this at the gym, I'd be probably using uh, 35 or 40 pound dumbbells in each arm. So yeah, anyways, here we go. Chest press, 10 reps. Hips up, brace the core, squeeze the glutes, lift those dumbbells up, lower down with control. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget about your glutes and your core. Seven, push it up. Eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Okay, stability ball, peck fly. I'm going to show you from the side this time. I don't know if it'll help, but I know it's, I can't even, I can't see the viewfinder really, so. But yeah, you wanna be leaning back slightly, but not completely flat. So bring the dumbbells up and hinge from your shoulder, open and close. Like you're giving someone a hug. So arms are bent. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. Tricep overhead extensions. Grab that weight, and if you're using a kettlebell, make sure that you're holding it in a way that is good for your wrist. See, I'm holding it like this. See? Okay. Lift it up, brace the core, rib cage down. Don't hyperextend your upper back. Okay, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, five more. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I don't know if you noticed, my form's definitely breaking down on that. I feel like this 20 pound kettlebell's a bit heck too heavy for me. But I don't really have anything in between, so gotta make it work. All right, you guys, we have one round left. Okay, guys, last time through, starting with those single arm push ups. Here we go. Put all the weight into that one arm. 
And let's do it. One. Two. just now is because 
I was like chastising myself for forgetting that exercise and then I messed it up. Okay, here we go. Last set of bicep 21s. It's okay that we didn't do it in order. It's gonna be all good. Okay, here we go. Halfway up and all the way down. For seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's start all the way up and halfway down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way down, all the way up for seven. One, don't swing the weights. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, we did it. All right, good work. Now, we've got a four minute Tabata finisher. Okay guys, for this finisher, we've got four exercises that we're repeating twice. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Let's just get over it. Let's get over it, get it over with, I guess. I mean, no, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Don't dread it. Okay, um, tricep push-ups is the first exercise. So you're gonna have your arms narrow and make sure your elbows are going straight back. <sighs> so as many reps as you can in 20 seconds, and your elbows, like your arms should be like brushing your rib cage. That's how narrow your arms should be. Good. Next up, we're gonna do single leg bench dips. So make sure your butt and your back stay close to the bench. Bring those legs forward, lift one leg, dip. Now switch. Make sure your elbows are going straight back, not flaring out to the side. If single leg is too hard, you know, just stick with the hardest variation that you can do. So if that's with two legs, then just do that. Okay, star push-ups. Uh, more push-ups. Yes, more push-ups. Okay, so you're gonna do push-up, you're gonna jump out and jump back. Good. All right. High knees. 
seconds. Let's go. Bring those knees up as high as you can. Faster, this is it, 20 less seconds left. Nice work. All right. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chest, bicep, and tricep workout. If you like this format, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.